Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture and what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. That's another great lesson I had here. We've had a lot of fun. Sarah's back from the Champaign County Farm Bureau mm -hmm. Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. You're in schools having fun. Are we having more fun here? Oh, we're having a lot of fun yeah, here, really but are. I don't know. It's great with I'm students. I'm sure your kids love it. You know, these <laughs> lessons you bring in, teaching about agriculture. Absolutely. Although sometimes I confuse you with a third grader, so that's okay. <laughs> Don't That's throw a that apple That's at off. Me. Go to break. <laughs> Uh, you know, I always love it when you bring uh, food as well uh -huh. with it. We've had chocolate, uh, you know. Yeah, we talked we had, about chocolate and bananas. Last week you tried to make coffee. them cry with onions. Uh, yeah, so. onions and apples. So yeah. obviously it's apple season for everyone. And yeah. so one of the lessons that we're bringing into the classrooms this fall is a story of Granny Smith. And it's based on a great book called Granny Smith Was Not an Apple. And I think most people would be um, surprised to know that Granny Smith is, is was a real person. Really? This is a fantastic book, and I did not know that until somebody recommended this book, and I read it. And then we have a little lesson to go with it. Wow. So let me tell you a little bit about Granny Smith. Sure. She was not always Granny Smith, obviously. She was Maria Ann, and she uh, was born to laborers who worked in fields. She married a laborer, had five kids, and their job was to work in orchards. They actually ended up moving their family to Australia, which was a British colony at the time, mm -hmm. and they ended up planting and grafting trees, apple trees. Wow. And we know from our last, we've done this grafting lesson, I think it was last year in the fall. Grafting is simply, and you can demonstrate this with kids, taking a root stock, or mm -hmm. that is a, um, a stick that's coming out of the ground that already has an established root system. We've cut our straw like this, yep. which will drink up nutrients and feed whatever is connected to it. So we talked about this the last time. Do you remember cutting this at a slant? Well, I don't know if I'm a third grader, these aren't safety scissors. Oh, so. they are not, but I'm going <laughs> to trust you anyway. Okay. So we're going to take um, qualities and characteristics, go ahead and cut that at a slant of that root stalk, which is has to be good root stalk. And this is what Granny Smith did with her husband. And then we're going to take a branch off of uh, a really good apple. We're going to cut that at a slant oh, okay. as well so that they match up. And then what they would do is they would join those two together and you would get qualities from both types of trees. Hmm. And um, you would make a new apple. But here's what happened with Granny Smith. Granny Smith made apple pie from oh. some uh, crab apples she had in her yard. She threw out her cuttings and her core with the seeds and everything near the creek, yeah. like a compost pile. Several years later, a tree grew. Huh. And on that tree, there were green apples that were very tart. And people began to say they loved this type of apple because it was tart and it was good in pies. Interesting. So I always thought it's because it. Granny Smith is sour or something like that. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> but it's actually named after yeah. real Granny Smith. And actually, how here's how she got the name Granny. She was a midwife as well. Uh -huh. And so all the young mothers called her Granny. Wow. So she was the one who named and grafted the Granny Smith apple. And we now know it as something we put in our pies. Now, that brings me to one really, really cool event in October. Oh, yes. We got a graphic for that, don't we? Um, it is the Great Apple Crunch. And on the graphic, you'll see the Midwest Apple Crunch, but then below there's a link to the Illinois Farm to School organization where you can find out about local participation on October 10th, where kids get locally grown apples and crunch all at the same time I at love school. That. So wow. it's a really cool opportunity for schools to do something together with something that's locally grown and everybody likes it. So you always apple. do like the great shakeout thingy, the earthquake, get on your desk. This is a lot more yeah. fun. This Eat is some a apples. lot more fun, yeah, right? Eating sure. those apples. We need so. to do a great uh, Midwest chocolate milk oh. chugging thing. <laughs> Chocolate milk chugging. There we go. Everyone's going to chug at the same time. <laughs> it's so great to have you here. As Thanks. always, great lesson plans and great things more. If you want to get more about the book about Granny Smith, connect with the lesson, learn more about apples, or the Midwest Great Apple Crunch, we're going to connect you with all those links, resources, and more on our website, WCIA.com.